Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather here for the next several days. Take you through next weekend, actually, and you can see a mixture of some high clouds and sunshine as we look at the camera in downtown Marshall. And that's pretty much the story across a good chunk of the area as we'll be watching a disturbance which is going to push through the Arklatex during the night tonight and bring some thunderstorms. Still looks like there's some chance for maybe a severe thunderstorm or two, but that risk is looking relatively low. Storm Prediction Center indicating a marginal hail risk. Uh, but uh, most models, including Futurecast, as I'll show you here in a second, not really showing a whole lot as far as large hail across our area. So speaking of Futurecast, here's what it looks like as we take you through the next couple of days. Uh, you can see the disturbance that's going to move into the Arklatex uh, during the nighttime hours tonight. Uh, by 10 p.m., we'll see the line of storms right across the heart of the Arklatex. It'll start to weaken after midnight as it moves into the southeastern sections of the area. We'll have a few leftover showers and thunder showers over the southern sections of the area during the morning. That activity moves out and the clouds will also move out of the area as we'll briefly see the return of some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, the clouds will begin to increase uh, uh, late tomorrow night and then Saturday is looking mostly cloudy. For the most part, we will be dry. Might see some sunshine Saturday afternoon with that south wind warming us back up uh, well into the 70s. And then going into Saturday evening, notice uh, thunderstorms developing off to our north. That activity could slide its way southward into the northeastern sections of the area uh, late Saturday evening. Uh, and this too will pose a risk for some uh, severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center does indicate a slight severe weather risk uh, for the northern edge of the Oracle Texas, as you can see here. Uh, all severe weather threats on the table, but even here, it looks like the risk is looking relatively low. It's something they'll have to keep an eye on. There's still some model differences, so we'll iron this out as we get closer uh, to the weekend here during the course of the next couple of days. Now, as far as the hail risk for tonight, this is the latest from Futurecast taking us through the evening hours. You can see just a few areas of pink indicated here, so Futurecast not really indicating too much as far as hail. And a quick look at rotation indicated by Futurecast. Again, this only goes out to midnight. You can see it's not really showing anything as far as rotation, at least right now, for those thunderstorms off to the north, although uh, model soundings do indicate that there is some support that uh, for at least a possibility uh, for a tornado or two. Uh, Saturday night, and that would be confined to the northern sections of the area. Rainfall wise, this is what we're looking at here through Saturday evening. You can see uh, Futurecast uh, showing tonight a good uh, half an inch to an inch over most of the area. And then if you add uh, the rain, which is anticipated here uh, for the weekend to that, longer range version shows that uh, we could see totals uh, eclipse two inches across the northern sections of the area. So a good amount of heavy rain, once again, a possibility here during the course of the next few days. Longer range, a look at the weather pattern shows we'll finally take a break from the rainfall chances for a few days. Here's uh, tonight's rain. Here comes the next disturbance with uh, Saturday night's rain that will end Sunday morning. That pushes through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looking pretty good. And then we'll see another shot for some showers and thunderstorms very late Thursday into Friday. And that risk of rain could linger into the weekend as this upper level low kind of moves into uh, the Great Lakes. So all in all, it looks like uh, several inches of rain could be a possibility uh, here in the Arklatex from now through next weekend. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Again, thunderstorms will be likely. A few strong storms also possible. Might see a little bit of hail, but the uh, severe hail, or in other words, quarter size or bigger, that risk is looking relatively low. It'll turn cooler tonight. Lows in the low to middle 40s across the north, mid to upper 50s across the south. And cooler the theme for tomorrow as any leftover rain will end in the morning over the south. Sunshine returns with highs mainly in the mid to upper 60s across the area. That includes 68 degrees in Natchitoches, 64 in uh, Shreveport as well as in Minden, 64 degrees also. The daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. 10-day forecast shows that we will see a little bit of a warm-up as we progress our way uh, through the weekend. You can see mid to upper 70s for Saturday, low 70s with lots of clouds Sunday. We cool off dramatically early next week with highs in the 50s and low 60s Monday, low to middle 60s Tuesday. Warm up again late next week as that next system approaches, bringing a good shot for some showers and thunderstorms as we look ahead to uh, mainly Thursday night into Friday. So all in all, it looks like several chances of rain on the way here in the next week with a couple of rounds of potential severe weather also included. That would be a very small risk tonight and another risk that we'll have to keep an eye on as we go into Saturday night.